I know I said this once before, but a lot of y'all need to hear this again. People will watch you lose your damn mind every last marble you have and still look at you while you're losing your damn mind and not take accountability for the shit that they're doing that's causing you to lose your damn mind. They will watch you go through every loop, every obstacle, every scenario and lie their ass off. And won't care the stress and the trauma they are putting you through. People will sit there and manipulate, abuse, psychoanalyze, do anything they can to never take accountability for the shit that they are doing. Baby, let me tell you something. If you haven't gotten to the mind space yet of when somebody fucks you over. When somebody plays you, when somebody lies to you and you keep giving chances and you keep going back and you keep thinking that whoever that motherfucker is is going to change. I promise you, I'm telling you right now in this message, they are not going to. I'm at a point in my life, child, I gave one chance. And I told everybody that is significant in my life that recently you get one chance. If you fuck me over, you get one chance. You do it again, that's it. You're dead to me. I'm done. You are no longer allowed to walk, be around, talk about, or see Christy ever again. And I know a lot of y'all y'all think, oh, I don't want to come off as an asshole. I don't want to be seen as this, or they're going to do this, and da 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 One thing about people that are manipulative, one thing about people that are narcissist abusers emotionally and physically is that no matter if you're doing good or bad they are going to make every picture they paint you out to be to look like the fucking devil that's one thing i've learned is that no matter if you're trying your hardest to make things right no matter if you're trying your hardest to be a good person they will look at you and talk to others about you as if you are the devil that walks this planet And it's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can do. There's no activity. There's no song you can sing. These people are going to be these people for a reason. You know, there's this um, philosophy that if there's no bad then there can't be good. It has to be a balance. Like it has to be a balance of good and bad things in this world. But child, when I look at these people that are just so toxic and manipulative and abusive, I'm like, why the hell are you here? Why are you on this planet? Why are you around me? Why do you even feel like you have the audacity to speak to me? What is about me? What is written on my forehead? What is coming off about my body language that your devil ass thinks that you can come into my vicinity and fuck shit up and leave me to pick up the fucking pieces that you broke? Absolutely not. When I find these people and when I notice these people who they are for who they are, snakes, devils, demons, ugly people when I see them for who they are child I stay the fuck away and I get up and I move out of their vicinity as quick as possible see the problem about old Christy and a lot of y'all out there is that when I saw those people I used to think oh I would not be a victim of one of those people I used to think I was the exception I used to think that I could fix these people and make them nice and good and loving and baby just like that saying There will be no good if there was no bad. I don't know what caused these people to be who these people are today. I don't know if your mama didn't hug you enough. I don't know if you didn't get candy in Halloween or no one ever took your trick or treating or if nobody ever gave you an A on a test. I don't know what it is that caused these people to be so mean and ugly and nasty and disgusting towards others it really makes you lose faith in humanity because it's like who raised you who is your mother who is your father what happened to you that made you come into this 
conversation today and think you can manipulate me and think you can take advantage of me. That's what really be boggling me as I grow up is that these people really have the audacity to look at me and think I'm somebody to try. Baby, no. Baby, no. I don't know who told you that. I don't know who who or what whispered that in your ear that Christy is the one to try, but I'm not. I would never be. And so that's what led me to let everybody and my family know and my friendships know and my acquaintanceships know and stranger wise know the moment I find out you lied to, the, t- lied to me, the moment I find out you fuck me over. Baby, you're done. There's no, I'm sorry, Christy. I'll do better. None of that. You get one chance. And that's it. And a lot of us, when it comes to living in this planet, we need to know that and we need to learn that you are not an asshole because you cut somebody off. You are not an asshole because you are setting boundaries. You are letting people know what and what they cannot do to you. you. That does not make you asshole. That makes you responsible, child. That makes you secure within yourself. When you can look at somebody and be like, Mm-mm, I will not allow you bring that energy, rebuke that energy away from my vicinity. It was this one time. I, like for some reason that day I was just surrounded by talk, toxic people and I said God why are you bringing these people around me why are you bringing these people in my area why are they surrounding me and it was so cute because my mom was like well maybe God is bringing you bringing you these people so you can fix them I said well baby well let me send you a prayer right now as we speak Speak, Lord, do not bring anybody that is broken, that is manipulative, that is toxic, that don't have no no guidance, no love, no happiness in their life around me. Baby, I have struggled too long, too long in my life with myself of being lost and being misunderstood and having no guidance. I do not need that from anybody else as I'm starting to find myself as I'm starting to become more secure, become more positive, become more confident, baby. I don't need nobody around me that's going to have me questioning the decisions and the thoughts that I have. No one. And I come on here and say this because I want everybody else on this motherfucking planet to know that as well. I don't care who you are. I don't care how close these people might be to you. I don't care if they're blood. I don't care if they've been your friend for 35 years. I don't care if they're the last person in your motherfucking life. If they are bringing you hardship, trauma, pain. If Bitch, it was to a point where I was waking up with anxiety. You hear me? You know how crazy that is? Before I could even come to consciousness, un- unconsciously, I was panicking. I would wake up with my heart racing and not because it was from a nightmare, but because I would wake up and wonder what shit am I going to get into today? What bullshit will be brought into my vicinity today? That's how it felt. And when I got to that point where I'm waking up with anxiety, I'm going to sleep with anxiety. I'm wondering who's going to play me. I'm wondering who's talking about me. I wonder who is trying to take advantage of me. Girl, I had to drop everybody in their auntie. You hear me? So when I tell you, I don't care if they're the last person in your friend circle. I don't care if they're the last person you know. If they are bringing you hardship, if they are bringing you trauma, drop them dead where they stand. Because at all times of your life. Do you hear me? Life is so short. Life is extremely short. We have a pandemic. We have viruses. We have shootings. 
We have climate change going on. We don't know how long we have as a society. And when I tell you, when it comes to living on this planet, the days, the blessed, beautiful days you have, please do not spend them around people that are going to belittle you, that are going to make you feel small, that are going to make you feel unworthy, that are going to make you question yourself. There are so many things already happening in this planet that makes us question ourselves. And I do not have one fuck to give when it comes to somebody that don't bring no substance in my life. Okay? We let people hold so much power over us. We let people hold so much validity over us that we lose ourselves, that we forget ourselves. A lot of us, we live our lives doing things that others want us to do instead of living our lives doing the things that we want to do. Now, tell me how that makes sense. If we can't live a life where we can experience genuine love, genuine happiness, experience something that doesn't involve ulterior motives, that doesn't involve a transaction, baby, go out there and find those people that can do that to you. Go out there and find those people that would truly see you for who you are, that would truly respect you and not look at you as something, as an opportunity, as a paycheck or whatever these people think they see each other as. The moment I saw that I could truly be loved and respected and seen and heard from a stranger, bitch. I went to everybody in my life that held substance and told them if I could feel more seen talking to a stranger, a person I just met that day, then... I can with you, a person I've known all my life. There's no reason for you to be here. The most powerful thing you can do is know that you are worthy and know that you can be loved and you can be seen. So many times we are so comfortable And the toxic relationships that surround us that we don't even see that they are not good for us anymore because we're so used to it. It's the moments that when you experience something that is healthy for you, that makes you realize, holy fuck, I've been living life wrong this entire time. Those those moments of when you experience healthy relationships, actual peace, actual love, actual happiness, you would never, I promise you this, you would never go back to somebody that would degrade you or look at you like you're crazy.